Hi students, this is um, the video that's going to help explain what Project 1 is all about in Cultural Geography. It is Project 1 time, and you should look in our Blackboard class um, under Course Content and the Project 1 folder to find out the due date for this. You've got a little bit of time, but I do want you to go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is Project 1, the first of our four 50-point projects, and it is linked directly to the first course learning outcome that we have in geography class together. Um, the five themes of geography are what we use in um, cultural geography to ask why of where and how questions like we've discussed in class. And so you're going to apply those um, pieces of information to something that you do or something that you are interested in in daily life. So this first page does not have the questions yet. The questions are on the next page, but let me scroll down. Let me show you. So each of these questions asks you to define basically what um, what Mr. Help is all about. If there are additional key words or concepts um, that go along with something like, for instance, we talked about perceptual regions or functional regions, uh, that kind of thing, etc. You know, additional ones. Um, make sure that you define all the related terms that go with something, you know, that go with location or that go with place or that go with human environmental interaction. Give me a definition of those things so you'll need your notes and your textbook from that. And uh, I have this rubric down here and please notice that for exceptional work, you'll provide those definitions and those explanations of things in your own words. That shows a little bit higher level thinking when you're doing that instead of just quoting from the textbook. So part of the answer to these questions is going to come from just class notes and class content. And then the analysis part or the application part, you're going to choose one of these movies, video games, or current events or fiction, um, and you're going to analyze those things based on each of those five things themes of geography. So here are the five themes, these questions, and it even asks you, you know, what did you pick? Was there a story, a game, a, you know, an event? What did you pick from this thing up here? And uh, so talk a little bit about what you've picked here and say, for instance, here's how location is important or absolute location or relative um, location. Those kinds of things were important for the movie I watched or for the video game that I play or something like that. So, um, Anyway, you have a couple of options to complete this. You can just answer the questions in good old fashioned style. You can use that rubric as a guide and there's a 150 point minimum, excuse me, 150 word minimum for each of the 10 point questions. Um, or if you want to get a little creative, you still need to answer the questions, but you can do it in just really brief, like bullet point kind of things. Like this is a bullet point over here. So you can do it like really briefly, kind of like an outline just to keep you organized and then make a video kind of like what I'm doing right now have something in the background like a clip from a movie or a video of your gameplay something like that that you're using to explain each of these things so if you um, want to do gameplay for instance you might want five short little videos that you merge together to say okay well here's an example of how location is significant or or um, why I chose this particular place to build my town or whatever um, why certain regions are off limits or you don't want to go there or what could happen to you there and you know different kinds of things so uh, make a video kind of like this one. Um, I'm looking for very thorough answers to the questions. Up here, this 150 word minimum is kind of a guide to help you make sure that you really thoroughly answer that question so you can earn your 10 points on each question. Down here, I'm asking for 10 minutes long so that you spend a minute or two. There's five questions. I'm looking for a minute or two on... Um, each question so you will thoroughly answer it. That's where your bullet point summary kind of comes in. Make sure that you make yourself a list, so to speak, of what you're going to talk about when you're talking to me so that you don't skip anything. I'm looking for one or two minutes per question. I will be a little lenient with the 10 minutes long if you thoroughly answer the questions. It might not take you two minutes for each question, but I'm looking for a thorough answer. So anyway, if you think it would be fun to make a video instead um, of, of just a regular old um, 
typed out answer or handwritten answer, that's absolutely fine. But give yourself some time to complete this because uh, maybe you need to rewatch a movie or maybe you need to go to specific circumstances within the worlds you're creating and forge of empires or something so that you can get the correct video clips in order to, um, to complete this successfully. Okay, and remember, if you want to do something different, just get prior approval. Um, I want to approve what you want to do. I just want some advance notice about it, um, and we'll work together to make sure you can get that. Okay, um, so if you're doing the video option, you don't have to do this minimum word count. Instead, it's that 10 minutes requirement. Here's the rubric. Please use each of the boxes as kind of like a checklist to make sure, you know, which which box applies to you. I hope that all of you will use this checklist so that you will get an A on this work. That's what um, I really like is I look at something and evaluate it and it follows this list right here. So um, check in Blackboard for um, Everything in Project One folder, there'll, there will be some supplementary videos in there that might help you with this, um, videos that other people made and not just me, so that you've got um, some additional resources other than your textbook, other than the video lectures, other than texting me, um, but please do text me if you have any questions. Okay, bye.